Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of Ask a Physicist. This time we'll be covering a question by Ignatius Mark, who, amongst other things, asked me um, Suppose the Earth's poles swapped. Could there be a significant instant when the planet can be exposed to dangerous solar radiation? This is a somewhat important question, since such an event might actually affect us in the near future. Now, uh, let's start from the start. As you surely know, our planet, the Earth, has a magnetic field. It looks a bit like this. Basically, it's like as if there was a giant magnet inside the Earth that just so happened to be approximately aligned with Earth's axis of rotation. Of course, there isn't one. The actual origin of the magnetic field, the dynamo effect, is um, actually far more complex than that, so um, let's not get into that right now. Anyways, as you see, the magnetic field lines uh, go from the north to the south pole. And that's why compasses work. Compass needles are magnetic and they align themselves with the magnetic field lines of the Earth. It is of course great that we have this magnetic field since it has allowed us to navigate on the sea and through the wilderness for centuries. However, much more than that, it protects us from the sun's solar wind. Now you all know the sun is generally quite useful since it provides us with light and warmth. It does this by sending electromagnetic radiation such as light and infrared radiation. However, at the same time it also bursts out great quantities of high-speed charged particles in all directions. These masses of particles are known as the solar wind and they also find their way towards Earth. The particles primarily consist of protons and electrons which I have mentioned in the last episode and they travel at speeds of up to 400 kilometers per second. Now if you remember, magnetic fields influence the motion of charged particles. Essentially they won't let them travel at right angles to them and hence deflect them. And that's exactly what happens when the charged particles from the solar wind reach the Earth. Most of them are deflected and move around the Earth like water around the bow of a ship. Now, uh, moving charged particles actually generate a magnetic field of themselves, so they end up deforming the magnetic field of the Earth to look more like this. Now, uh, some of the charged particles from the solar wind leak into our magnetic field and will get trapped. They will then spiral around the field lines and eventually reach the points where the field meets the Earth, i.e. the North and the South Pole. Here they will enter our atmosphere and interact with particles in the air. They will pass on some of the energy uh, to the air molecules, which in turn will radiate the energy away, partially as light. As a result, we can get the northern and southern lights, also known as auroras, which are very beautiful, by the way. Uh, however, in actual fact, the greatest aurora activity is actually caused by uh, disturbances in the Earth's magnetic field, uh, such as magnetic substorms, uh, which happen when the Earth's magnetic field lines cross at the tail and recombine, as shown in this nice clip from NASA. Uh, now this is all well and good. Unfortunately it appears that the Earth's magnetic field isn't as stable as we might think. Uh, by looking at um, the alignment of magnetized material in cool down lava, it has been shown that the Earth's magnetic field has reversed itself several times throughout the history of our planet. 
It was discovered that the Earth's poles are swapping at irregular intervals, averaging on about 300,000 years. The uh, last reversal happened about 780,000 years ago. So we may be due for another one in the relatively near future. Uh, well, at the moment, nobody knows for sure. Now, uh, during such a reversal, the Earth's magnetic field will look quite obscure. We may start having not two, but several magnetic poles at varying positions, until eventually the poles have swapped completely. Further, while this is happening, the field may weaken to less than 10% of its original strength. Essentially, this means that the Earth's magnetic field will no longer protect us effectively against the solar wind. In other words, the charged particles from the solar wind will start to reach our atmosphere and since such a reversal can last several thousand years, we'd be stuck in the situation for quite some time. Now, there's a spectacular Hollywood movie called The Core, in uh, which a similar event is described. Uh, now, I'd just like you to have a look at this scene where the main characters describe, um, explain what happens when the Earth is unprotected against the solar wind. <coughs> All right, I'll put this as simply as I can. Everybody on Earth is dead in a year. And let me explain why. Wrapped around the Earth is an invisible field of energy. It's made up of uh, electricity and magnetism, so it's called, creatively enough, the electromagnetic field. It's where we get our magnetic North Pole and South Pole, and it protects us from cosmic radiation. So this EM field is our friend. But now? But now, that field is falling apart. Why? Uh, why? <laughs> Does somebody have a can of air freshener? As the EM field becomes more and more unstable, we'll start seeing isolated incidents. One plane will fall from the sky, and then two, and then in a few months, anything, everything electronic will be fried. After that, it gets bad. The Earth's EM field shields us from the solar winds, which are a lethal blend of radioactive particles and microwaves. When that shield collapses, microwave radiation will literally cook our planet. Dr. Zimski, <clears throat> this is the sun. This is the Earth without the EM field. Three months, gentlemen, and we're back in the Stone Age. A full year, the field collapses, and that. Scary, isn't it? Well, it's, it's quite hilarious, actually. But it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Nothing could be further from the truth. If charged particles from solar wind were not deflected by the magnetic field anymore, most of the particles would still neither harm or reach us. They'd be absorbed by our atmosphere. We wouldn't even notice them. In times of strong solar wind, which are rare, there may be more particles getting through, but they would hardly harm us. They might destroy some electricity lines, so... Anyways, if you consider that in the last 10 million years our species has survived, about 30 magnetic pole reversals, there really is nothing to be too scared about. The only things which are at significant risk are satellites, since they move outside the atmosphere. Well, I'm sure we figure out something for them too. Um, so, this is certainly no end of the world scenario here. Well, the downside, of course, is that our compasses won't work anymore. But what can you do? Anyways, this is the end of this episode of Ask a Physicist. Thank you, Mark, for this interesting question. And um, if there's anything else any one of you would like to ask me about, please, by all means, leave me a comment or send me a message. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.